In this video, we will discuss how enterprise data can be moved from a legacy source like Teradata to Hive with just a point and click and without any programming. The data source, Teradata, is a fully scalable relational database management system produced by Teradata Corporation. It is widely used to manage large data warehousing operations. The database is designed for high performance, diverse queries, in-database analytics, and sophisticated workload management. The target is Apache Hive, which is a data warehouse software project built on top of Apache Hadoop for providing data summarization, query, and analysis. Hive gives an SQL-like interface to query data stored in various databases and file systems that integrate with Hadoop. VeriStorm's vStorm Enterprise software brings near real-time access to enterprise data including complex mainframe, Teradata, and others for analytics on big data platform and cloud. There are several features of vStorm that make it a unique data integration platform for big data in cloud for enterprises. Talk about flexibility in architecture. Here you have the ease of supporting new sources such as Teradata and new targets such as HANA, Redis Lab, and cloud platforms. vHub is the center of all processing and transformation to enable all sorts of enterprise data to fit in the big data architecture. vStorm does not install any agent or need any complex configuration on existing data servicing or big data platform. It can be installed as an independent middleware or virtual appliance or cloud instance or as a microservice in container. You can learn more about enterprise data integration from various complex sources through VeriStorm platform from our resources page on our website. This is the web UI of vStorm Enterprise. On the left, we can browse sources such as JDBC, Hadoop, ZOS, and on the right, we can browse Linux, HDFS, Hive, or any destination. In this demo, we will browse a JDBC Teradata server on cloud, select the table, and copy it to Hive. First, we select the Teradata database server, then the databases, and then the table. After we select the table, we can browse and view the data and the metadata. Now let's copy it from Teradata to Hive and present it in another network. First, we select the destination and the directory. We can copy the data to the local file system, stream it to any network point, or copy it into HDFS or Hive. We can select the format of the data from the list of formats. It is possible to select specific columns as opposed to all the data. In the next panel, we can apply a filter to the data as it is copied and can schedule it for a later time or repeat runs to suit our batch window. We can even schedule this to happen as frequently as every five minutes. We can then select the Finish button to start the data transfer. We can see the jobs running on the bottom tabs 
and we will see visual confirmation once complete. When it is completed, we can access the HDFS folder to view the files in a browser. All data is present, including all of the selected columns, as well as metadata column names. Once the data is moved, we will be able to integrate it into our application management data analytics and visualization platform. This concludes this video on data transfer from Teradata to Hive.